Hello guys, this is Terry from Ginky Gaming TV and we're back with Yokai Watch Shadow Side Episode 4 Episode Review. First of all, I just want to give a quick shout out to my friend Lucas Diamond who's been so kind to do all of the music for the reviews and for my channel. A link to his channel will be down below, but let's dive right into things right away here. Episode 4 was really interesting. I like how everything was laid out for the episode, and we're going to be diving into the details here in just a moment. This episode really was rather humbling to a certain degree. It's in English, it's called What a Waste Man, but in Japanese it's Motai Nai Otoko which they're both essentially the same thing via the translation because what a waste man is like a very loose translation to a certain perspective but the episode basically opens up or starts with a, a daughter mother moment between two random characters we've not seen yet i don't even think that the episode named them or if, or that they were shown again but basically what was happening is they were eating ramen and the little girl wasn't able to finish her and uh, Motenai Otoko showed up and started causing issues and as our episode transitions through it comes to uh, Toma and Natsume looking at ramen reviews for ramen shops and different types of ramen online and Akinori has them pulled up their detective agency forum website and there were a post about a strange incident of what a waste man and that they've been increasing and it's basically about a man inspiriting children who leaves behind food while then even weakening the children further causing them to lose weight and eventually die and essentially what happened throughout the episode is they went and ate at a ramen joint after talking and after Kisuke showed up. And Kisuke wasn't able to finish his ramen, so that's when the Motai Nai Otoko began to inspirit him. And it was weird because everyone else who should be able to see Yokai weren't able to see him due to the inspiriting and how that was all set up for this particular yokai. Yokai yes, design's rather simple. As you guys can probably tell from some of the pictures here I've included, I've kind of went a little bit all out. It's a guy with brownish black colored hair and his gaps for his eyes and mouth have a tiny bit of blue in them. Has a white t-shirt. I have it somewhere here what the t-shirt says, but apparently I don't. I had sworn that I had that written down. But it's... Let me see if I can find my note here. I actually do have a note. I apologize for this inconsistency. But... I believe it said Tonkatsu Yinochi and tonkatsu is like I believe it's like a breaded pork and inochi is life or life force so it was referring to that life force or lifespan I wanted to double check the translation and as the episode goes on they visit an abandoned ramen shop which is where this particular yokai was at. And when they arrive, they are served ramen. Natsume's ramen has more meat in it than what the guys are, but I'm jumping ahead of myself here a little bit too much. I failed to mention a moment ago that we had a little bit of a family moment between Keita and I always forget what Katie's name is in Japanese because I I always kind of ignore that Nate is Keita. 
I don't remember what Katie's actual Fumika or Fumi-chan. There we go. I had to look it up. But Keita and Fumi are uh, having dinner with their children, and I really like this scene. I thought it was really good and really well polished. And I love how Double Five references Keita in Fumi-chan or Fumika in such a nice way. I don't think they'll be in every episode, at least they have not been thus far, but I would like if they splash these family moments everywhere. And I was talking to Howard-chan in the comments of the last video, and we thought it would be nice if there was just a pretty good father-son moment between Keita and Kisuke. Because it feels like something that should be consistent and should happen. And neither Nate nor Katie or Keita nor Fumika notice that their son's inspirited. He nearly starves to death. But luckily, our gang or our detective agency was able to uh, break the course after going to that abandoned ramen shop that I referenced. It, referenced. And like I was saying, Natsume noticed that she got more pork or more meat in her ramen than what the guys did. The guys didn't notice that she got more at first. And throughout this entire process, we got to see a little bit of everything. We got to see some of Kisuke's friends. And at the ramen shop, we got to see the What a Waste Man and Spirit, a pot that was used for ramen. Turns out the spirit itself was the spirit of basically. I feel like it's the spirit of the shop itself to a certain degree because it's linked to uh, the utilization of food and the owner not really liking that food was wasted because food's meant to be enjoyed. So instead of Jibanyan or Komasan taking on this yokai, it was Toma using the ogre uh, yokai watch. And at first, he summoned Genma Binke, who is based loosely on Musashi Bo Binke, the famous warrior from the late Heian period. Or Heian period. But Binke wasn't strong enough to a certain degree, pretty evenly matched with this yokai in strength. And what was noticed was maybe he catered that this enemy yokai catered towards women a little bit. So, Toma transformed into uh, his, I think she's his final yokai of the four that he can use with the ogre watch. He transformed into Maida Matsu, or to uh, the yokai based off of Maida Matsu, also known as Omatsu no Kata. A Japanese woman who had a rep rep uh, reputation for intelligence at liter literary and martial arts. And she's the only female yokai that he can transform into. And I like the symbolism and the use of color for both Binke and Omatsu. I like the use of blue and yellow. It's very expressive and works very well for both of them. But we get a tiny bit of a flashback here as well. We get a flashback back to the owner of the shop and his happiness of serving ramen. How diligently he worked on his ramen and the pain he suffered from constantly stirring the pot and constantly doing his craft. But later on, near the end of the episode, we saw the owner and his son show up, and apparently his son was going to take over. So with that in mind, that made our inspirited little friend 
Mr. Hentai, as I was calling him, in my head while watching it, but it's actually... This yokai's name is actually Sundo Maru. The use of Sundo comes from inching, and Domaru comes from armor. Basically, the tea kettle armor he wears, plus the pot armor on his head. And he had a total muscle bro moment with Michi, or Slime Amanda, that I thought was hilarious. They were having a flex off to see who was the strongest. But nothing was really accomplished. This guy seems like a pretty good yokai. Good-hearted, since everything was kind of resolved there. I'll be interested to see what all skills and stuff he has in the Shadow Side game. And the episode, after we see this touching moment of Sundo, Sundo Maru looking over uh, his previous shop owner's son while he worked, we get a moment with our villain, or our true villain, Haruya Sakami. And things are not looking good. Uh, he's throwing his darts, he's plotting, he's getting ready to flip everything on end. And he's very interested in Toma and in basically our entire gang to a certain degree that you can get from the tense of everything in the show thus far. Though, overall, the rating I would give this episode would probably be a B plus or an A. I would definitely recommend watching it. Places like Anime Freak TV should have it by uh, tomorrow, which is Sunday the 29th. I found it on Daily Motion, but it's not really a good edition. There's no subs, and if you don't know Japanese, at least basic Japanese, I went and recommend trying to watch it. You can get some of the details from this reveal and from other summaries. Like, there's a couple people that have episode summaries up, but I do definitely recommend this episode. It was great. And that's been it for the review. I want to thank everyone for their support. And if you're enjoying the reviews, please subscribe. I am planning on continuing to do them. I have a small like go of five likes this time. Nothing big. I just want to know that you're truly enjoying this. Because I'm doing this for myself and for all of you wonderful people that enjoy Yokai Watch. Like always, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. I've been Terry with Genki Gaming TV. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.